Hi and welcome to my channel. Due to the YouTube copyright rules, we only do a picture with voiceovers. Thank you for understanding and let's get to the video. Elizabeth Cady received a superior education at home at the Johnstown Academy and at Emma Willard's Troy Female Seminary, from which she graduated in 1832. While studying law in the office of her father, Daniel Cady, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives and later a New York Supreme Court judge, she learned of the discriminatory laws under which women lived and determined to win equal rights for her sex. In 1840, she married Henry Brewster Stanton, a lawyer and abolitionist. She insisted that the word bay be dropped from the wedding ceremony. Later that year, they attended the World's Anti-Slavery Convention in London, and she was outraged at the denial of official recognition to several women delegates, notably Lucretia C. Mott, because of their sex. She became a frequent speaker on the subject of women's rights and circulated petitions that helped secure passage by the New York State Legislature in 1848, a bill granting married women's property rights. In 1848, Stanton and Mott called for a women's rights convention in Seneca Falls, launching the American women's rights movement. Stanton's Declaration of Sentiments, echoing the Declaration of Independence, outlined women's inferior status, including a resolution for women's suffrage. Collaborating with Susan B. N. Anthony from 1851, they spearheaded campaigns, addressed legislative bodies, and wrote extensively for various periodicals. In 1854, Stanton addressed the New York legislature, resulting in legislation 1860 granting married women rights to wages and equal guardianship. Her presidency 185-53 with Anthony in the Women's State Temperance Society stirred controversy, proposing divorce for drunkenness. Stanton persisted in advocating liberalized divorce laws. During the Civil War, Stanton and Antony organized the Women's National Loyal League, gathering 300,000 signatures for immediate emancipation. Post-war efforts to enfranchise African-American men fueled Stanton's bitterness, reinforcing women's disenfranchisement. This spurred renewed efforts for women's suffrage. Stanton and Antony tirelessly toured for women's suffrage. In 1868, Stanton co edited the revolution, a weekly advocating women's rights, until its demise in 1870. Organizing the National Women's Suffrage Association in 1869, Staunton served as president until 1890 when it merged, and she then led the National American Women's Suffrage Association until 1892. Staunton's legislative initiatives included the Declaration of Rights for Women at the Centennial Exposition in 1876 and a Federal Suffrage Amendment 1878, reintroduced until the 19th Amendment in 1920. Collaborating with Antony and Gage, Stanton compiled the first three volumes of the History of Woman Suffrage. She authored the Woman's Bible 189598 and her autobiography, 80 Years and More 1898, The Elizabeth Cady, Stanton, Susan B. N. Antony Reader 1992 and the Selected Papers of Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. N. Antony 1997, Preserve Her Influential Writings, 